Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this digital microscope. Now, the company did send me this product for a review, but they want me to show you what it is and how it works. And there's a lot to this. I have it all over my desk here. I'm going to show you the pieces and parts, what comes with that. We're going to put this thing together and we're going to test it. But a digital microscope is good for things like if you're doing soldering on electronics or a lot of coin collectors. They like to look at very closely at their coins for those missed stamps and those very uh, rare things that you can find. Uh, but you've got to see it. And they're very, very small. You can even use this to look at, at uh, bugs and things like that. And being digital, what it can do is you can actually capture video and or photos of what you're doing, which is really cool. It does come with this little monitor screen, but you can also um, HDMI out to another monitor as well in case if you need to see it bigger or show other people. So now there's a lot of things to this. There's a lot to it. Let's go to uh, show you all the bits and pieces and parts. I'm going to put it together and we're going to take a look at of a few things. I'm going to try to get some samples here of what the video and photos look like, as well as looking at some of this other stuff. So let's dig in and check it out. OK, I'm going to run through this pretty quickly for you, but this is what you're going to get. You do get a little kind of assembly guide step by step, which I will be going through to uh, to use to set this up and put this thing together. Uh, you do get also an actual manual user manual. Uh, very good. You got to should read through this again. Parts list. There's a video demonstration on how to do this as well. Um, there's also all the bits and pieces and parts, and it shows you what each lens does. And there's different you know, plug in options. The lens options, there's actually three lenses with this. Uh, it shows you the working distance, like for the coins and for close-ups. There's remote control information. Uh, as you can see, some of the, uh, the settings you can use for doing the soldering of electronics. Um, all kinds of information going on here. You should definitely read through that. Now, you're going to get your base here, and it does have a couple of lights that you can uh, use to light up what you're looking at. Now, on the base, you're going to have an extension arm that goes into there, and then this other little arm with all kinds of adjustments that you're going to use to uh, get this uh, um, the lenses up and down. You've got two lenses in here. You've got one lens already on here. You just have to take this lens off to put the other ones on. And this, of course, is your monitor here. It's got some warning stuff. You can take that off uh, with your um, all your buttons for your power, your uh, menus, ups and downs, OK for photos and so forth. So this is your screen that's going to go up on here. You do get a remote control. There's no batteries. You need to get uh, two AAA batteries for that. A little bag of um, screws and little pins, springs and brackets that hold stuff down. You're going to get some tweezers. You're going to get actually some slides with things to look at. Um, these are already um, ready to go. There's some really microscopic stuff in here. Um, I think there's like a like a B leg and a bunch of other things. I'm not sure yet because I'm going to look at it. Uh, you're going to get your slide holder. This is a holder for that that also lights up at the bottom, uh, which is really nice because you're going to you plug this thing in and it uh, and it lights up. Uh, the little plug in there uh, and then some uh, some cables HDMI cable you're gonna get some power cables USB stuff going on here a little adapter to plug that into a socket wall here's another USB cable you get a little bag of spare parts some different uh, little screw things that are extras uh, you do get a 32 gigabyte um, card a little SD card uh, so as you storing you can store your photos and videos onto that and then this is a bug thing. You put bugs inside this and you can look uh, through it um, with a microscope through here if you have a live bug you want to look at. So lots of bits and pieces. I'm going to go ahead and put this thing together and we're going to test it out. Okay, I put everything together and it actually was fairly simple to do. Just follow the instructions to do it. Now there's a couple things you can do. You can set it up depending on what you're going to do with it. Um, right now I have the, um, the one that came with it, the lens that came with it, the A and which is good for looking at coins. And I have a coin on here to show you. Um, it does have these little lights here. Now the, the plug-in, you can do the these little arm lights here, or you can plug in the slide light. So you can't do both, but you only need one at a time because you're gonna look through the light, which gives you a bottom light with looking at uh, through this little thing for the slides, for the microscope. Um, now it does have the little controller here on it that adjusts the, uh, you can dim the lights to it as well. And then of course there's the menu across the top that does different modes. And um, I also played with the remote control. The remote control could do a bunch of different things 
on it as well. So this has a, the regular microscope magnification, but it also has digital. You can go up to three times digital magnification so you can get a uh, really look uh, deep into this. It has a focus bit to it so you can focus it in. Uh, really, really cool. You can adjust the height of this as well. So there's a lot of adjustments depending on what you want to do with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and I have a quarter on here now. I'll, I'll show it to you through my top down camera and I'm going to give a, a recording through this as well so we can look at the recording uh, quality of it and see how that goes. So let's um, take a closer look at what's going on here. Here, this is your little power button that turns it on. Uh, let's give you an idea. Um, a mode button. This shows, this looks like it's a camera mode. No files. There's nothing uh, in there right now. Uh, looks like video mode there. Uh, you can go up and down on here. So this gives you the digital. You can see that the digital zoom all the way into 3.0. Or let's just hold it and go down like that. Uh, again, you can do the same thing on the remote control. The remote control has all those controllers on here as well. Um, okay, and then this button here will looks like it just took a picture of it. So we'll check those pictures out in just a minute. Uh, but you can see this is, and there's my big old fingers. Um, this is the coin. This is a quarter here. And then this is a little dial. You can do your focus. You can make sure you're focused in on there. And then you can adjust your lights. You can do all kinds of stuff with it to give you an idea of that. Oh, here we go. Now we're recording. So I am recording this. This is going to be the recorded version of it, of what you're going to see here. And, uh, and and we'll see if it does audio as well. But you can see that I'm going to move the coin around. So it's video as well. We'll put that there. All that stuff looks good. All right, now according to the uh, manual, the video resolution can be up to um, Ultra HD um, and H uh, FHD and HD, uh, MP4, uh, max frame rates on there, um, JPEG. This goes up to uh, photo resolutions of looks like about five megapixels, and then the micro SD card, uh, which goes comes with it. We're gonna press and hold the menu. There you go. Now you can see the different options. So you can go through the different resolutions. So you can see there's different um, qualities with different frames per second, depending on what you want to do. They even have slow motion on there. We'll just go ahead and leave it at this. Um, exposure compensation. That gives you the exposure if it's too bright or not. Date stamp, sharpness, uh, strong, normal, soft. I'm just going to keep it on normal. Freeze frame, contrast color. You can see you can do a lot of different things. There we go. So now we can come over here to the next level. So if you do, do that twice again, you've got grid line settings, date, time, language, frequencies, format your card, default settings, and your version. So a lot of different stuff here. Let's go ahead and hit that to get out. Another thing you can do is hook this up with the USB to output this to a computer. Uh, which is uh, good through, looks like Windows is what you need to use. Uh, there's a software that you can download and you can do different features and functions of it as well as even, even measuring distances of uh, small items, which is kind of used in electronics. But um, I'm not going to go into details of that, but that software is available and you can use that with this uh, item here. So next, let's go ahead and try the slides. Okay, now I have one of the slides in. It's called a pine stem. I think maybe from a pine tree or something, but man, this, this is so cool. Now, there are adjustments that you can adjust your um, microscope um, higher or lower. And then, of course, you've got your focus, which can uh, can focus it. Now, every any s tiny, small move, because we're so close up, any tiny, small move is huge on here. Okay, this one here says it's an epidermis of an onion, which is an onion skin. This is what onion skin looks like. Okay, now this one here is a honeybee wing. This is what a wing is. And I'm going to slowly move it because it's pretty big. So I'm going to move it within the microscope so you can see um, underneath here. I'm just moving this uh, slide holder around. This is a honeybee wing. Okay, now this one here is a honeybee um worker leg composite it says so um you can see so much detail that is so cool okay now this one says 
Musica Domestica Compound Eye Loading. I am not sure exactly what this is or what this means, but it looks like it's a looks like it's coming from a bug, and it says eye, so it might be some kind of an eye thing from a bug or something. But I, I don't know. That's it's pretty crazy. But uh, as you can see, you can see stuff very very close up, microscopic, and again, you can take pictures, you can do video. You can see there's a lot of different slides here. You can always get more, or you can put make your own. And put your own stuff together with it. Uh, the other lens is a different lens, and that's going to be more for the electronics, which I don't really have any electronics to look at as well. But um, there you go. So there you have it—a detailed look and demonstration of this digital microscope. Uh, really, really cool. Great for uh, people that are interested in science or again co uh, coin collecting. If you want to look real closely at those coins to find out if you have some valuable coins, if it's mismarked or all that kind of stuff, or even for working on electronics. If you are soldering electronics, you need to look uh, very precisely at what you're doing. That's what this is for. And you can capture it with the photos and videos and all that. So if you are looking for a really nice digital microscope, this one may be the right one for you.